Hello there, my name's Card. I'm a long-time progressive community organiser and activist. And today, I just want to briefly talk about a reactionary dog whistle that's been around for a few years now, as well as what it really means, who's using it, and why. For those who might not know, in politics, a dog whistle is a word, a phrase, or a symbol which seems perfectly innocent and innocuous to most people, but which really communicates a more sinister hidden message to those in the know. Additionally, there'll also be a playlist of videos of mine linked at the top of the description, which goes into detail about all sorts of reactionary dog whistles and how to spot them. Today, specifically, I wanted to talk about the word scholars and how it's become a contemporary reactionary meme and signal, particularly in online spaces. In short, in a lot of online reactionary circles, calling someone a scholar is a particular loaded way of attacking someone's intelligence sarcastically. This points to a broader disdain for intellectualism or expertise that is pretty common in online right-wing communities. But, in particular, it's very common for the online alt-right to use scholar like this specifically when talking about a black person, because a core part of the highly racist far right-wing worldview is that any black person, or all black people, are deserving of being attacked or denigrated like this on the basis of their supposed lesser intelligence. As with any dog whistle or obtuse reactionary internet term, it does help to be able to spot these sorts of things so that you can suss out any online situation properly, which you can only do if you know what these sorts of terms and bits of iconography mean in the first place. So, for the sake of keeping online spaces free of potential troublemakers and people with less than good intentions, it never hurts to be able to recognise these sorts of things. If you happen to see someone already a little bit suspect, use the word scholar online to sarcastically describe someone else, take a look at who they're addressing that sort of language at. It might just point to some pretty sinister thoughts lying just below the surface. That's all I have to say today. I hope it helps. Once again, my name's Card. If you want to hear more from me, especially more about emerging or obscure reactionary dog whistles and how to spot them, feel free to subscribe to this YouTube page, or just take a look at my other videos. Either way, goodbye for now, and stay safe out there.